Hello, my loves. Welcome back. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life, apothecary, professional astrology tarot, and intuitive reader. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome. If you're passing through, it's been an honor to be able to share with you my messages today. Speaking of visitors, we have with us today one of my favorite baby chicks. Yes, I do have favorites. I have not named him or her yet, but she's just the cutest. She's so chill. She's been super relaxed ever since she was born. I just figured that I would share one of the things that bring me joy lately. For those of you guys that don't know, I manifested my first dream home and I've been working a lot on homesteading and doing the smaller things, I guess, that bring me the most joy in my life. And it's so cool to be able to merge, you know, my passions for working tarot, Working, ast working in astrology and sharing my messages with you guys and my gifts with you guys, and then also merging that with my second passion, which is again, homesteading my chicks, whipping body butters, those types of things. I do have really exciting news when it comes to that, so make sure that you are following me on Instagram at Bahati Life or Jessica X Alexandria. I've got some, some really cool things in store, but until then, you guys, I would love to dive into this week's video, of course, because that's why you're here. I will be referring to my complete guide for 2022, and I will also be shuffling the cards. I'm gonna go put this little nugget down for now. I don't have a name for him or her yet, so if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear it down below. Let me go ahead and put my little chicky back with the rest of the chicks, that way he or she can thrive and play with the rest of them, and then we'll go ahead and dive into our work if you don't mind okay i'll be right back all right babes so one of the first things that it is that i'm seeing is a concentration of frustration within the charts absolutely this week so i really am getting a, a sense of taking space taking as much space and as much time as you need in order to get your affairs in order that's a big message that's been coming through that i can hear from spirit right now um, again, Chiron is transiting Aries and Chiron is the wounded healer. It's how we are mostly triggered, but also how we can mostly heal ourselves drastically, dramatically in a small amount of time. And Chiron transiting Aries is very self-focused. It's very leadership. It's very you deviating from the pack and from normalcy in order to become a leader in your own life. How can you do that now? For a lot of you guys, you have had your root, your structure destabilized in some way, shape, or form. Maybe you've had to uproot from your local home or your, your childhood home, or maybe you are um, merging out of singledom into partnership, into union, and now you are really feeling the, the effects of what it's like to be married and having to rely on a par partner, not your parents, and putting your spouse first, and you guys working out your issues instead of consulting your friends or consulting your family. There's the, the overarching theme that it is that I'm seeing here within the chart is you having to prioritize your own wisdom and go and seek outside wisdom and outside intelligence in order for you to make the best decisions in regards to your life. This is something that can be really tr troublesome, can be really triggering from some, for some people, especially if you look towards others for their guidance, if you look for others for their opinions, or if you are unsure of what you want, where you're going, where you're headed, those types of things. However, again, if you do find yourself being triggered, this is definitely showing you the highest level of growth that is happening within your life right now. With Venus, Saturn, um, Mars transiting through Aquarius, again, this is about emotionally detaching yourself from your feelings in order to do what's right, what's best for you at this moment in time and to handle your responsibilities, for you to handle all of the things that fall on your plate. This is also having a really strong sense of establishing healthy boundaries for yourself. So if you're someone who is prone to going and running and helping other people or allowing your friends or uh, other things in the external to from distracting you from what it is that you have to take care of, this is a time to practice learning how to disconnect from those so that again, you, you do what you have to do in order to take care of what needs to be taken care of. As I'm looking at the charts, you guys, I don't know if 
you have been watching my recent videos, I'm not trying to self promote or anything like that, I promise you. But one of the main messages that I've been uh, feeling lately, and I believe this was in my, my recent video, um, about the upcoming Virgo full moon, which is gonna be happening on the 18th of March. One of the things that I feel will be really revealing is I feel like it's the, or what will be revealed is the common man. The powers that be are switching from what was once established as far as who would be a leader and turning the focus on common man humanity, stepping up to the plate in order to do what needs to be done. I'm also seeing this message of people who are highly rich, very, very wealthy, they are having to step up and help in politics. And, and it looks like from everything that's going on, this may have a lot to do with the war right now. So look at people who are powerful or rich because of the things that they've invented themselves. For example, social media platforms, for example, like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I don't know, all of those platforms that they have become wealthy over and that somehow, just because of the shifting of times, they are now in a position of power and when it comes to politics or policy change or something. So around the full moon in Virgo, which is again gonna be the 18th, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some conversation or some development that is revealed or initiated during this time. I'll link that video down below because I did say a lot in that video and I don't wanna re reiterate my message in this video. The other thing too is conversations are going to be really lost in tra translation this week. You may find yourself daydreaming. You may find yourself, your thoughts drifting. You may find concentration just so tough. You may feel like there's a lot of distractions and noise and just things that you would probably n normally not even see. Now you're like sensing them and they, they're just bombarding you. I really want to call you into a space, I know I'm a broken record with saying this, but grounding yourself, centering yourself, and doing whatever you have to do in order to maintain your level of focus on whatever it is that you're trying to do. A lot of you guys are prioritizing your own health, peace of mind, your your yourself, whatever it is that you need to do right now. And Spirit is saying, this is a wonderful week, another wonderful week for you to disconnect from the noise of what others are doing or what you would normally be doing and put the energy, the focus back on yourself. I do feel like some of you guys are gonna be connecting with friends that you don't always get to hang out with. It's like deviating from your normal plan and connecting with someone who you really, respect but you may not be able to hang out with a lot or you might not be able to see them there's a conversation there or ability to connect with them that feels very beneficial and also very cathartic and like a sigh of relief because it's not your normal type of person i'm also seeing a breakdown when it comes to friendships relationships don't be surprised if this week and last week you saw a, a separation in, in any type of close intimate connections or relations uh, or maybe you just something is, is revealed to you that you simply have decided or you sen simply sense that you cannot tolerate any anymore. So you are moving away from the, those people or that person. You just need a lot of space. I am feeling like this separation, I know this is going to sound so like obvious, but for some people, the separation is is very much needed in order for you to stop something from happening. There is a, a strong disconnect from what was into what is and what should be, right? Whatever is separating here, whatever separation you've already seen, you are not going to be able to go back to the way that it once was or spirit is telling you, you cannot go back to the way that it once was. Even if you revisit that friendship or revisit that relationship or revisit that family member or connection or whatever, or business partnership, and you decide because it's mutually ex like beneficial for both of you guys, you genuinely want the connection and this real, it seems worth it and valuable to you. There's something within the relationship dynamic that will not, it's like being snuffed out or suffocated that you just cannot bring it into the next stage, the next cycle, or it will prove to be too great of a risk or too great of, I don't want to say punishment, but there's it, what it contributes is not something that is healthy or will provide longevity for you. 
Okay, so just mark my words with that. Um, take that message how it resonates. I feel like it'll resonate with a lot of you guys. I'm seeing that in your comments. I do read you guys' comments and you, you'll tell, tell me just, I don't know how you do it, but you're right on the money. It's, it's not so much me at the end of the day. I'm Virgo. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> Speaking of concentration, right? Oh, how nice. Oh, he's literally drifting. How cute. And a bluebird. Lovely. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so it's not me. I'm just a channel. Um, Virgo sun, Virgo moon, and Virgo has always been the messenger of the God. Oh, the butterfly's back. I would turn this camera around, you guys, but I'm, I'm telling you by the time I flip the camera, it's gonna, she or he will be gone. How cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm a channel. Virgo has always been the messenger of the gods. Um, just how we like process information. And it's, if you find that these message resonates, it's more my ability to be a clear channel for that. But ultimately I appreciate the love and the feedback of course, but I would like to give the credit to the divine because that's where I pull them from. And also the charts, which are revealing to me everything, you know, there's no way that I could make this stuff up. I, 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 uh, I promise you that. All right. Okay. So what else was I going to, oh, full moon. Oh yeah. All right. So spirit talk to us. Okay. This message wanted to come out. This card keeps jumping up. It is the Knight of swords. It just keeps showing up. I feel like, why don't we focus on this today? And I'm also going to use my little bells. To bring some clarity into the space. What do we need to hear right now, spirit? What's the message with the Knight of Swords? Talk to us. What is it? I just heard the, uh, the word keep going. There's a project, a plan. It seems like it's small, but you're, it's being stabilized. And this is going to be the, the new root, the new foundation for the next chapter in your life. Seven of Wands. This is going to require a lot of work and effort on your, on your part. But something about this feels very, very rewarding and fulfilling. I can relate to this myself. Yeah, the Hermit card, it's something that you're gonna wanna be able to do on your time. It's gonna give you a lot of uh, clarity into yourself, your own skills, your own skill sets, who you are as a person. It's going to help shift and redefine who you are now at this stage in your life. There was a part of you that just totally died. There's a part of you that you surrendered. There's a part of your life that you've had to let go of. Some of you guys are stepping out of divorce or again, reestablishing yourself in a new world, a new community, or maybe in a new role. I just heard the word. It's you now are being given permission because of all the lessons that you have learned and, and you are capable, you are capable. And there's a vision that needs to be fulfilled is something that is that I'm hearing a prophecy that was spoken over your life. And it's so essential for you to take this time. There's some people that you're going to need to disconnect from, especially with seven of wands. There's some energies that you need to disconnect from because they will stress you out. They will distract you. They will pull you in different directions that you need to, you don't need to go on. These people are like sheep. I'm sorry to say this, but they're like sheep. They don't really have a calling. They wait to be called. Do you know what I mean? So, or they're waiting to be called so that they can hear their calling. And they are just, in the meantime, they're just kind of wasting time until they have some level of clarity. And who knows when that will come? I'm not judging them. Everyone has their own path, but if you know what it is that you're supposed to be working on right now at this moment in time, or if you're meant to be connecting with spirit at this time so that you can have greater clarity into your own direction in your life and what is next for you, or you need some level of truth or revelation, this time that you're taking this week should be in you gaining that information, that message so that you know exactly, okay, where are we going? Where are we headed with the hermit card? Okay, spirit speak. They don't even want me to dive into details of what that is specifically because again, this is a general reading 
for an open audience. And some of you guys come in and you go out, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not in the, the business in order to gain subscribers or anything like that or be the most pro popular person on YouTube or Instagram or anything like that. You guys know me by now. But um, if you're here to receive this message, I, uh, Spirit and I want you to receive this message again. Ace of Wands. So this is going to spark light, truth, revelation. It's going to reveal to you a passion. The next, again, it feels like this very next chapter within your life that you're meant to discover. And this is going to be the foundation the ground that you will be stabilizing yourself and bearing fruit if you are distracted from planting these, these seeds or tending to these seeds you're going to miss this very crucial time this very crucial season within your life so do what you got to do in order to minimize distraction and minimize noise a lot of people perpetuate or try to create this this um vision i guess of their positive or their direction led or purpose led but they're not it's not true you want to believe it but the more that you spend time with them and the more that you listen to them talk the more that you're hearing that it's a lot of noise it's more what they wish that they were versus what they actually are and when you really sit with yourself and you allow spirit to speak to you spirit will will tell you clearly it's time for you to deviate away from them because this person or these people they love drama they seem like they're very positive and uplifting but if you listen to what they're saying or if you watch the repeated patterns they have a lot of drama that could be avoided in their lives now i don't believe that every person that is experiencing drama or challenges or turbulent waters right now or things that they've invited in those are things that they have to go through right but there are some people who manifest it or enable it or encourage it or whatever the case is and it's something that could be avoided and it doesn't it's not constructive it's not building towards anything except more problems obstacles barriers conflict for the sake of their to feed their ego or their own boredom so just use your own discernment on whether or not and how far you are going to engage with these type of people again looking at the chart there is a need to separate yourself from those that partake in very tumultuous dramatic types of energies and just you know that's that splitation is not a bad thing i also don't feel like they're very respectful two of swords i feel like they're in a lockdown within themselves maybe they might be caught within what they want what they feel what they know what they don't know they don't their faith is being tested they they're very performative instead of intuitive if that makes any sense and spirit doesn't want that energy to bleed into you, into your energy, into your aura, kind of like watercolor is what it is that I'm getting. You'll have these beautiful, colorful purpose, you know, for your painting that it is that you're doing. Then all of a sudden someone comes in and spills water all over your project and you're just like, oh no, it's fine. Like it was an accident, but you keep noticing that they're spilling water. So now you're just disrespectful of what it is that I'm working on, what it is that I'm creating. And now you're halting my purpose and my plan I need to disconnect myself from you because I have bigger things that I need to take care of. If your life is filled with drama and if you are choosing these relationships and if you're choosing this diet, if you're choosing this lifestyle, I cannot continue to enable you and engage with you because I am in the process of actively actively decluttering my life and also as I'm decluttering it filling with things that give me purpose and direction and peace and love especially in today's times if you're surrounding yourself by people who are just simple dramatic like drama you have to ask yourself what is it that you're getting from that and if you are I mean I'm gonna let you figure that out. I mean, the hermit card here, this is when spirits like, let them figure it out, Jess. And that's exactly what I will do. I respect that message 1000%. Hermit, the hermit card, spirit is calling me to lead, to talk to you guys and lead you into the, the realms of the hermit. This doesn't mean that you have to spend all your time by yourself or even always be by yourself, but it means that you're taking the quality time in order to process 
and to connect with the divine and to process the messages that the divine is speaking into your life. Um, and, and, and do what it is that you need to do in order to maintain some level of order that lightens up or enlightens your purpose and your path within this moment. With the lover's card, I do get a sense that we are in a time for divine union, for twin flames, for um, holy matrimony is the word that came through, or finding your life partner, right? So there are some friendships and certain connections that when you start, they literally are acting as a blockage for, for you from being, being able to receive this love. Some of you guys have really truly sensed the fact that there is um, a really great relationship and a really divinely connected and divinely appointed relationship um, in your near future. And when you start realizing that spirit or the universe is snipping out certain people from your life and even certain prospects, I heard certain prospects, or you have a zero tolerance policy now, this is how you know that you are getting closer and closer to this divine connection or this meeting, okay? This alliance, this thing, these things harmonizing because your energy is is clearly being led into something that is you know, purifying in order to make room and space for that which you belong or who belongs to you. And this is so divinely given you guys this is not just for your the, the the pleasure like the sole purpose of pleasure and joy of what that feels like when you're connecting with someone that is that you love and just having someone that is your best friend that you're just doing a lot of fun things with you know you guys have similar interests or whatever it's more than that it's also going to help you in your purpose for the world because what this divinely appointed partner is going to give to you is certain wisdoms and certain truths and certain they're going to add value to your life so that you can add value to the to the light and your and light to others if that makes any sense spirit speak to us more about the lovers in this union ace of wands keeps wanting to come through it's it's right around the corner it's the spark a lot of you guys are getting divine intervention you're seeing dreams you're seeing signs of it you're being led out of certain things you're being led into certain things for example some of you guys are, are being called to go go to your altar i'm sorry i'm watching my chicks right now and i've got baby chicks as you guys know one of them was born disabled um which happens and i always have to keep an eye on a close eye on them so i was just making sure that he was fine when he was hopping across the bin anyways Speaking of distractions, right? So what was I saying? Oh, some of you guys are really being called to your altar. I don't know if you guys saw the message that I shared last week about curses and hexes and breaking these karmic cycles. A lot of you guys are being called to your altar. Now you feel yourself being called. You know that there's malicious energy around you. You know that there's this energetic blockage that's stopping you and you are being made aware of these negative entities so that you can take care of them so that you can start doing the work in order to help free the path so that your next greatest blessing can come into your life. And a big part of that blessing is going to be you aligning with your soulmate, you aligning with your twin flame, you aligning with your life partner. Now, what my thoughts and beliefs are on soulmate and twin flames, anytime I mention it, I always get a lot of questions about what do you just what is your opinion on that maybe one day i will share a video on that i think i've been i've been promising that for you guys for over three years now okay hierophant this is something that is going to deviate from how you generationally have experienced relationships and love and i just heard the word catastrophe wow that's really clear some of you guys have had families that the marriage the, the marriages that you've experienced or the relationships that you've experienced or been involved in have been a catastrophe. That is very, very dramatic, but that's how spirit sees it. That's a very specific word, but that's how spirit sees it, where maybe people are marrying not for love and not for purpose, but for survival. And this generation is being led for purpose, love, and light on a deeper level. And we are given more freedom now to be selective in who we choose and how we choose. And many of us are being led into being independent first before we just 
root ourselves and ground ourselves in a marriage or in a relationship whose purpose is not divinely led by God. You know what I mean? It's more root chakra. So these connections, again, that are being come together now are spirit led and God, universe, Holy Spirit, the, the, the divine senses and knows and has created this moment in time, this massive shift in humanity where the way that connections are coming together are not just for the sole purpose of survival, but for purpose. So yes, you are going to be breaking free from these old norms. And this is why you're being led right now from spirit to the altar to break these curses, to break these toxic bands that have been holding you back so that you can manifest this divinely appointed love within your life that you've been sensing. Now, you have to do this on your own. Looking at the charts, there's this very independent energy, this very independent spirit that says, if you consult those wise ones who have come before you, they're not going to be able to have the same answers, nor will they have the same enlightened wisdom to give to you to help you right now because they haven't actually lived it themselves or if they do they they'll do it far later so they're still learning too so this is where this space of independence comes into you right now into this space in this moment in your life where you have to kind of rely on god or rely on the divine or rely on the higher powers first and foremost before you consult anyone else because this is new territory groundbreaking energy has been ha happening happening here in order to create that shift so it's going to be up to you to kind of figure it out look lover's card and the ten of cups you guys lover's card and the ten of cups so this is really here to give you i just feel like encouragement that this happily ever after is going to be redefined in a way that's 1000% for you. I'm also hearing this really interesting message that some of you guys' um, love partners are not going to be what it is that you expect. So for example, if you've been straight your whole whole life or heterosexual, you might find randomly spontaneously, this is a very specific message, you might find that you connect with um, a like-minded and you find that, that person just, the love that you guys have is just unbelievable and you have to it just quest makes you question everything and you're very loyal to that person but it may not be what you may have dated women your whole life or you might have dated men your whole life and then all of a sudden you meet this one person who's the very opposite of what is that you normally date and what however you would normally define yourself and it's just like i just knew when i met them that this was my soulmate i knew that this was my person and spirit is like you found them like seven of wands you found them finally you found them so don't don't um uh, don't uh, question that or be like, is this weird? Like, no. <laughs> what has been weird was the way that we've been doing things before. Spirit is, if spirit leads you and you are called into this space, you are right where you need to be and you don't need to question that at all. Are there any additional messages, spirit, that we need to hear right now, that they need to hear right now? Before I move on to the oracle and before I close out. Yep, death card. There is big time endings, and with every ending comes new beginnings. Something is absolutely 1000% being transformed here. Something is being released that was once toxic or stagnant or thick. Like energetically, it felt very thick and dense. Yeah, some of you guys had a lot of confusion as far as what it is that you wanted in your life, where you're headed you might have had a few different options or things that, or you might have been taking drugs or something like that that's making you cloudy. And you are ending this and you're doing a purification. Maybe it's not drugs, maybe it's a substance of some sort or a diet or a lifestyle or something that has had you really foggy in the head. And I just see you clearing that out, the world card. It's a cycle, some major cycle, some major, Habit is being broken and you're being free from it 1000% now. Um, Spirit is encouraging you to let go of anything that they are leading you towards surrendering and placing it at their feet. No matter how difficult it is, remind yourself of the greater purpose and the greater path and why it is that you're doing it. Um, and also to speak things into your life every single day. Look, hang the hangman. You have been hung up on something and destabilize I keep hearing I keep hearing that word like that's been the word for so far 
for, I don't say this year, but so far, destabilized um, and disordered, you know? So spirit doesn't want you to stay in a disordered space. But again, like I said, surrendering it. Hangman is the card of sur surrendering and relenting, you know, to the to the divine, like giving it to the divine, giving it to to the universe or spirit in order to take care of and, and make right and make you right and make you whole. Four of Cups, again, a lot of you guys might be um, engaging in drinking uh, some of you guys prescription drugs or maybe bad lifestyle choices, things that maybe were once fun now have turned into too much of too much of a good thing turns a bad turns into a bad thing real quick or maybe there's some level of abuse or maybe you are this is this could be someone else in your life especially with queen of cups here this could have been someone else in your life that was abusing things partaking as they say and for your own good you are you've been disconnected from them and they are having a reassessment or reassessing why they had to do this and they want to do hopefully they want to do better I don't, with the Queen of Cups, you guys, I am getting a sense of prayer, compassion, and grace that is going to be called up from the depth of you that you don't feel like you even have. It's like praying for someone's well-being, even though they've hurt you really bad. This butterfly keeps showing up. It's, I, I, it's so funny because I said that if I flip this camera around, that I bet you this butterfly is going to disappear, but he or she has been flying past the window ever since. So, I don't know if you guys can see, so my mirror will reflect light in the back, but I don't know. Anyways, it's an orange butterfly, a beautiful orange butterfly. It looks like a monarch butterfly, but I don't want to try and guess because there's so many different variations of butterflies, and now that spring is springing, um, <laughs> you know, every day there's a new, a new variation of a butterfly. Also, my chickens have been doing their own little thing lately, especially cobweb. Um, yeah, so this person is really doing a major life assessment and I just feel like, um, I'm, 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 sorry guys, but I feel, actually now spirit's telling me not to say it, all right, I won't, maybe that's why I just got so tongue-tied. I will say this, that if you, the power of prayer, I've, the power of prayer is very powerful. The power of intention is very powerful. So if you are speaking good over something, that good will prevail. If you can only complain or talk about the bad that someone is experiencing, then the bad that they're experiencing will prevail or you will, that that which is happening within you will prevail. So just let go of that um, and speak life into, um, I'll show these, show these cards with you in a minute, but speak life into even the things that have hurt you, pray for them, set intention for them, even though you are creating distance between you and them. Also, don't be surprised if you hear from someone while they're going through this revelation with the Venus square Uranus transit that's currently happening right now there is the element of surprise when it comes to relationships, spending money, those types of things. So don't be surprised if that, if that shows up this week, okay? Especially as Mercury is transiting the sign of Pisces, it really brings in very sympathetic, empathetic levels of conversation, communication, and awareness into people that normally they would be dense. At the same time, maintain boundaries and healthy space. No enabling, no enabling bad behavior, no enabling people who know better but choose not to do better, okay? And don't do that for yourself either. Okay, Spirit, speak to us through the Oracle deck. I'm really loving Colette Baron reeds Oracle deck. I believe it's Wisdom of Animals Guides or something. I don't know, you guys, <laughs> it's this deck. So I believe that you guys um, shared it with me the last time what deck this is okay look buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide one thousand percent what else do we have here i'm gonna pull these randomly i'm always a space cadet when i'm channeling it's 
such a safe space when I go into this space. It's one of the reasons why I love what I do and that I'm able to share it with you guys. All right, one last card. Okay, two more cards. Okay. Oh, so the first card that is jumping out is the hummingbird spirit. Be here now. What are we able to do right now? What can we do right now in order to lift our energy up and to create space and health and vitality? Is it drinking water? Is it going for a walk? Is it turning off our phones? Is it taking care of your chickens? What is it that you can do right now that can give you and, and give you peace and give you love and give you highest light and vibration. Some of you guys, I'm seeing you eating fruit or going on a walk and picking a fruit from a tree. Specifically oranges, wow. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. This means again that some of you guys are going to ha have to stand up for yourselves this week or not say anything, but through your actions, because you've already said it all, through your actions, implement implement the plan that you've already spoken over your life or that you've already shared with others. So this means that if you said that you're gonna focus on this one thing or if you're gonna work on this plan or if you're gonna clean your house or if you are going to reach out to whoever, then this is the week to do that. Don't talk about it, be about it, okay? Be an advocate for yourself, a leader for yourself. Next energy, this is what we actually saw earlier today. Bobcat spirit life is a mystery. So spirit is looking at you dead in the eyes and says, listen, there are some things that are going on in your life that you're not gonna be able to understand, but I understand why I'm bringing them into your life. I understand why they have to happen the way that they do. I understand the greater plan and the greater purpose. So that's something else that you are going to have to surrender here is your desire to know and understand everything. Look at this crystal that I found. And by found, I mean, I, I was, um, I'm pretty sure I was shopping locally somewhere and I found, and I found it and bought it. What if we put it here so you can enjoy it? Also, I have the next, oh, Bird of Paradise candle burning from the apothecary. Oh, and a lot of you guys are asking what clearing spray I was using when I was working the hexes and cur curses reading that intuitive message and it is um, the clearing spray from Bahati Life. Okay, next card. Ooh, flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. So again, you're in this space within your life. You're ending one thing and entering into the next, but there is this awkward transition period that you're in in the, in the middle. I do see that when you're in the in-between, pray over it, set intention for it. And when I say, setting intention, I mean, you don't need to manifest. You don't need to set intention in order to manifest the next big thing if you don't know what that is. Some of you guys are needing to set intention for peace, for joy, for the ability to be present in the in the now and not hyper-focus on the past or the future, or what's gonna happen next. Some of you guys need to manifest or set intention for trust while you're waiting for spirit to reveal the next level of plan or while you're waiting for your higher self to figure that out. Some of you guys are needing to set intention for internal spiritual strength. Some of you, I mean, it, the list goes on and on. So in the, in the in-between time, work on setting the intentions for what is that you need, need right now while you're in the transition phase it will make it a lot easier for you. Some of you guys get so caught on manifesting these big things, such as, okay, I know that I'm gonna wanna be here. I know that I want this in my life. I know I want this. That you skim over the, the beauty and the blessing of being here right now, wherever that looks like and what you need right now. And that could be something as simple as more time for you to enjoy a, a cup of tea or more you know resources or cheaper water you know, higher quality wall. It could be anything. The next thing, wow, turn knowledge into wisdom with the wolf spirit here. Turn knowledge into wisdom. So 
I also see lack of knowledge as a form of wisdom because sometimes not knowing is the biggest blessing. And what if, you know, not knowing is a part of the greater plan here? What if not knowing is actually spirit protecting you? What if, what if, what if, what if? So this higher wisdom is this, this sense, this truth within you that says, this is right. I know this to be true. I don't need a logical reason or anything else in order to prove to me what it is that I know for myself. Okay, so definitely tapping into those higher forms of wisdom here is essential. Ooh, this is my spirit guide, the skunk. And the message that is connected to this card is know your worth. Again, know your value, know your worth. Know what it is that you are about to become. Know what it is that you want and need. And don't settle for anything less than that. You don't have to fight, physically fight or verbally fight. That's the energy of the skunk too. There is a natural born level of respect that is just given because you are who you are and you don't have to go fighting with people in order to prove yourself or in order to get what it is that you deserve. <laughs> we don't do that here, especially with the skunk also represents duality, the black, the, the, the balance between two worlds. Okay. Ooh, turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. And I did mention that earlier on in this reading. Um, and the last card, wow, 10 to the small things, mouse spirit. So I did mention that you guys, and, and here it is. I mean, again, this is the week for you taking care of the very, every detail that it is that you need to do. It could be very small things and you just kind of hyper-focusing on yourself at this moment in time, creating a very pleasant boundary around you. Again, you don't have to fight with anyone. It doesn't have to be anything loud or, or attacky in any way it's just a calm knowingness of I choose this is what I'm choosing to do at this moment in time and if you don't respect it I can't help you there I'm not even going to engage in this conversation any further or any longer because I said what I said all right my loves I'm wishing you nothing but the best and all the love that the universe has to provide to you right now at this moment in time. If you need to connect with me, you can find me in Bahati Life Apothecary. That's where I reside. That's where I work all of my magic for myself, for my clients, and also for the world. There are fixed candles, intention oils, herbs, anything that you would need in order to manifest your highest and greatest desires is there. I've been working my magic for a long time. Check out my reviews, they're pretty phenomenal. Having said that, please be mindful of any scammers or any people reaching out to you in the comments down below. I'm never reaching out to anybody. Anything that or anyone that does that is a scam. Um, also, they are migrating into the world of TikTok. They found out that I was there. I am there on TikTok. And um, they're trying to pretend to be me and reaching out to other people and trying to milk them for their resources. And it's just absolutely awful. It's absolutely awful. But discernment is everything. Discernment is key. And if you guys have any questions or anything like that, you can always reach out to me at info at Bahati Life. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions for you. I also have an amazing assistant who is waiting by the emails all the time. She does a phenomenal job with that. Until then, you guys, I'm sending you all my love. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I do want to invite you to subscribe because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one.